Master Sword in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I, I think it goes without saying that there's going to be a Master Sword in this game, so I don't think saying that spoilers are, are really necessary. Like, every game has them. So, the area that I'm in is directly north of Hyrule Field. Now, I'm at the tower, just slightly north of the military grounds. And I tried paragliding directly into the woods area of the Lost Woods. And soon as I actually got myself in there, this fog like crept up on me. And then the Korok laughed, and then I restarted. So, we're gonna take the scenic route. I decided to paraglide to the right side where I put this yellow marker. And run up the pathway until it brings me into the Lost Woods. This wasn't lit, so I decided to set it on fire, as well as most other things. And when you first make your way into the area, you're going to see a bunch of lit torches. You're just going to follow one lit torch to another lit torch to another lit torch. Then eventually, you're not going to see any immediately in front of you, but you'll see one in the distance. You need to make your way on over to it. And here, we have two lit torches. This is going to be act sort of like a checkpoint. Now, I brought this torch with me. I'm not sure the exact mechanic, but anytime that I walk toward the thick fog, I would see that the torch let up on the fog a little bit, but then it would engulf me. So here, I tried it once again, and I very slowly made my way from one area to the next, and it almost seemed like when I had the torch with me, it got rid of the fog anywhere that I went. But anytime that I started to see the fog get really, really thick, I just turned away, and I noticed that it started to try to engulf me from all different sides. Set some things on fire, see if that makes a difference. Don't think it does. Well, should still set things on fire, though. So you see, I'm walking this way, and then the fog starts to get really thick. I change direction, a little less thick. More thick, turn away, less thick. Cut through these trees. I have a general idea on where I'm going, just because on the mini-map, you see an area in the middle of all the trees that doesn't have, you know, that thick, dark area. So I have a general sense of purpose, the direction that I'm going. And see, I almost got engulfed by the fog there, but then I turned back and I was fine. I was looked for the area with the least amount of fog and then progressed that way. And then my mini map started telling me that there's a shrine nearby and I knew that I had to be close. Set some more things on fire. And some more things, because why not? We make our way through the giant log threshold. And then we finally enter the Korok Forest. And straight ahead of us, is the Master Sword. As soon as you approach the Master Sword, there'll be a cutscene, and the great Deku Tree will talk to you. And he'll let you know that you need to have a certain amount of strength in order to pull the sword. If you don't possess that strength, you will die. Now I tried it adding temporary hearts here, and it doesn't make a difference. You have to have full red hearts, and he says that you have to return once you become much stronger. And as you can see, I only have four hearts in total and two stamina upgrades, so I'm still fairly early in the game. So I'm going to keep messing around, try to find the exact number of hearts that you need to successfully pull this out. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the location of the Master Sword. 
in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. 